Is is the sheep preaching hate when he says, I'm not going to let the wolf eat me anymore. The wolf comes in here, the next time he comes in here, I'll do whatever I have to do to keep him off my back. Is the sheep violent or is the wolf the violent one? He wasn't teaching hate, he was teaching common sense. You know, somebody's knocking you over the head, stop him. Do whatever you have to do to stop him. You know, the, the ones that were knocking him over the head were afraid of, of the fact that he might swing back. So they said, no, he's teaching hate. He's violent. Now, I, I know that we exhausted that topic, man. And I know that, you know, there's going to be plenty of, 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 of hair hats coming for us, talking shit in the comments, <laughs> doing all this and, and sending all their little, little, little scriptures or whatever they want to do to take everything out of context and try to vouch for this woman who's misleading a lot of solid women out here looking for some really solid brothers. Let's get on this Geno Jennings thing. We're going to have to definitely touch on that. Geno Jennings, guys. Warsheep fan, Warsheep Warriors. Geno Jennings has recently been invited out to meet with TD Snakes, as he likes to call them, and some of the other head honchos. Y'all seen, seen TD Snakes' church. I hope y'all really paid attention. It's empty. Yeah, he got a few people that's online. Watching online. Yeah. Seats not filled. Not filled. It's empty. That was a true video? I oh, yeah. That was a practice ministry session. Oh, man. Was it? That's what I thought. I don't know. It could have been. It could have been a practice ministry session. Okay. All right. But they were on They were on Skype. They were on Skype. Right. So, TD Snakes, TD Jakes, a lot of his antics coming out. Of course, related and uh, tie and ties with P Diddy, and, and, and uh, of course attending some of his um, his um, parties his that he likes to throw. Rendezvous. Oh yeah, which of course in those parties you only can what get what sex or or, or, or money. That's all you're there for, either sex or money. Yeah. And, um, and it ain't the righteous kind of sex. Absolutely not the righteous kind. And yeah. they, they didn't call him power bottom. <laughs> you know, you didn't see. <laughs> You didn't see videos of him he say? saying he some of the most sauciest shit. <laughs> swallowed up. Have you ever been swallowed up? Have you gone through a time of swallowing where everything was... Have you ever been swallowed up? Listen, some of the most sauciest shit that you can... Listen, why would a Geno Jennings want to associate himself with the likes of people who are using Jesus's name as a paycheck, not to really to serve the people, not to really bring them out of, 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 of the darkness into this marvelous light, not really fighting this true battle out here and trying to wake people up in the world, but out here just trying to earn a profit. But that, yeah, that was, my understanding was they were invited by the black caucus to mm -hmm. come together and discuss their differences. Right uh, between the acceptance of the LGBTQ community in in the church. Uh, oh man! So they trying to, and that's with Geno Jennings. Yeah. So because Geno Jennings doesn't support it, and him and TD Jakes are kind of at it at odds. Right. They want the Black Caucus to be, I guess, set up this meeting for them because they see these two these two figures, TD Jakes. And Gino Jennings as prominent uh, people in the black community or religious leaders really? in the black community. Yeah. Hmm. Right? And it's, and it's funny. That's interesting. Yeah. So the deal is you got Gino not in not support of not in support of the LGBT uh, Q thing inside the church, and you got T D Jakes who is evolving. Okay. Evolving, he said. Evolving. So that's evolving, that's, huh? Let's let's take a look at the video, man. Let's take a look at what Geno Jennings had to say about the letters he's received. And we're going to come right on back with our comments. Black Caucus of Ministers wrote me three letters. They wanted to make sure I get it, so they sent three big letters to the church with about three or four pages of a petition signed mm. by so many preachers in the country mm -hmm. to mediate, to have a meeting want to mediate between me and Jake the Snake. <laughs> I started to tear the letters up, mm -hmm. but I said no. Ah, 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 ah. 
Now, I'm going to use this time. If they're serious about coming to the table, right. I'm going to use this time, bring our ministers, some of our brothers, and we're going to strike this out with scripture. That's right. That's, that's, that's what we want to do. That's right. We want to strike this out with scripture. Amen. Prove the fact. Prove it. That the church can coexist mm -hmm. with homosexuality. Right. Prove it. Prove it. Prove the fact that a man of God is evolving towards what? homosexuality. My Lord, my Lord. He said, some churches have their theory, uh, others have their theory. He said, I'm evolving. I'm not. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Until God evolved, ain't never evolved. That's right. So what y'all think, man? What's up, man? <laughs> what y'all think? Like, this has got to be the most ridiculous thing. Like, why are they even talking about homosexuality and bringing the Bible into it? It, it don't make sense at all. It's, it's, the word goes against it. So what would be the point for them to even want to meet up and try to evolve with brothers as they so go? My thing is, if we know there'll be no effeminate man in the kingdom, right? How do we expect, or how can you accept a, a an effeminate man by the maximum into your place of worship? Yeah, right? I mean, it ain't it ain't no it, it's it's, it's mm -hmm. I'm not saying that repentance can't be made, right? Because most I will. He'll move however he feels he want to move. But remember, you want to abstain from all ways of evil, wicked. So the fact that T.D. Jakes is associating himself in parties that's known for these things, right? and then now mm -hmm. wanting to evolve and accept these things in the church, you start to question the leadership because his leadership is, being, is, is, is starting to separate from the word that he say preaching because these people these people he associating himself with or not and, and not and not rebuking because this is what we're supposed to do, right? He that he is not rebuking. Now now is is going is going against what the word of the most high said. Mm. And we know that we're gonna let man be a liar. Every man be a liar, we're gonna let the most high be, be true, right? Every word That's of the right. most high we're gonna let be true. So if he tell you that that certain things is a, is abominable to him. How is it that we can trust this man or y'all can trust this man as a leader mm -hmm. to give to feed y'all the word? Then you have to think about what is it that he's feeding you? Is it clean or unclean? Is it abominable? Is it an abomination to the most high? Or will it bring up a, a good savor to it? To a good smell to his nostrils? Or like, what is it that are you following? Yeah. What is it that you follow? What is he teaching? Because, you know, like Yahshua, Jesus said, do not cast your pearls among swine and do not give that which is holy unto dogs. And he did not come on for everybody. He didn't come here and sacrifice himself for everybody. He came only onto who? The lost sheep and the house of Israel. If you feel like you're speaking to your, the lost sheep of Israel, focus on the lost sheep of Israel. We got we got a shepherd, our shepherd, Pastor Dow, who called him out multiple times and debate over the topic of polygyny. He still has not answered that call. Hey, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of YouTube, Pastor Dow here. Hey, this is Pastor Dow, and I'm actually making an open, civil, professionally moderated debate challenge. My foe against Pastor Gene O. Jennings, let's see if he accepts, on biblical marriage. It's polygyny lawful or is it sin huh be a good discussion huh wouldn't it be a good discussion wouldn't everybody like to know let's bring it out let's bring it out let's get it done pastor jennings y'all get this video to him make sure y'all get it to all of his crew too all right let's get it going in jesus name still hasn't answered the call hey he'll be this chance to ride anybody else though but that's funny he, <laughs> the, crazy, the, the crazy part is though is he was the one that that, that put it out that he would have debated anybody. Mm. Like if he was just top dog, yeah. somebody pulled this card, 
Yup. It was all kinds of antics, beat around the bush. And then, but now, now that he got another chance to be up there in the spotlight and make some big headline news, mm -hmm. uh, he's all up for he it. Taking, he taking that clout. He taking the clout over, yeah. And that's just what it is. It's just plain and simple. Uh, because when you refuse to debate with someone who's bringing uh, some claims of, and challenging your perspective and your viewpoints on scriptures while you're teaching men that they got to sit back and wait for a woman who's left, it's ridiculous. Why would, why would a man have to sit back and wait for a woman who's left, his wife who's left, and this is the this is the doctrine you teaching and preaching. How are all these men sitting there listening to him say all of this and say, "Hey, this is what you got. You can't you can't go remarry." That makes no sense. Yeah. Well, what kind of man are sending out a challenge and then not not accepting what's in what's in his acceptance? Exactly. It's a call to honor. If somebody gives you a call, you honor the call. Just like you've been boasting about, you've been talking about how you would debate anybody on any topic, any subject. But once he brings up the topic and the subject, he hits on a few points. Here you go, tuck and tail. I guess you see, I guess you see T D T T D Jakes as right. being the easier competitor mm -hmm. because the book just say don't. It's not. It's abominable to be homosexual, and you can't evolve what has already been written. Like that don't even make sense. Mm. I find it funny. I find it funny how right now at this time it's just so much attention coming to our particular community. Right. As far as entertainment. You hmm. get Cat Williams fans, you got all eyes on. You got uh the Geno Jennings T D Jakes thing. Everybody getting their eyes on it. You got parties at Diddy. <laughs> you finding out all these people who've been being there. exposed. You got Christian rappers you finding there, you getting Hollywood artists, I mean Hollywood actors and artists there, like it's like that white guy with the baby. Oh man, <laughs> all these things, all these things are to attention, are are, are are put in front of our face so we can catch right. But it only seems to be a particular community, right? Uh, that 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 they continue to to want to shake little objects in front of it to keep us focused on. I, I just find that interesting. Maybe y'all can let me know what y'all think about that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, drop it in the comment section below. Is Gino Jennings a coward? <laughs> is he? <laughs> is he tuck and tail, man? Is he? Uh, or do you feel like that he just, you know, hear, uh, you know, something and feel like, okay, well, I'm gonna address this. Is he a clout chaser? Is he chasing clout, trying to get some notoriety, some more notoriety? He trying to get a win. He just trying to get a dub, yeah. an easy one, an easy one, an easy <laughs> one. Okay, because it's easy to be able to go ahead and smash on TDJ. I mean, yeah. it's not much there. It ain't a David and Goliath situation. Nah. Right. He's a glutton. He's a homosexual, obviously. You know, allegedly homosexual. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, you can tell he's a glutton. You can just look at his big old belly. All right, Worship Warriors. This concludes our conversation for today. I, we appreciate you joining us. If you disagree with some of our commentary, please leave it in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video. You know, share it with some of your friends to so get this word out real quick. Comment, subscribe, and we'll see you the next one. All right, shalom. shalom.